Hey guys, we're out here in the barn. Uh, it's a little noisy outside and getting dark. So we're gonna open up this month's Ravencrest Knife of the Month. This is the Raven Pack subscription. It is uh, $9.99 plus shipping, so around 14 bucks, I think, uh, with the shipping included, maybe 15 bucks, something like that. Anyways, uh, we're gonna open it up with a vintage Italian stiletto and uh, just because why not you know so here we go we'll see what we got all right we got the standard Ravencrest uh, black box with uh, no billboarding on it other than just on the front no model number no nothing it keeps it a surprise they normally don't publish anything about the the knives until uh, they get, let everybody have a chance to open up their uh, monthly knife. So we will see what is in here. Obviously, you know, we're looking at a folder this week. Um, if that's a fixed blade, it is an awfully tiny one. I'm saying folder. Ooh, okay. So most of the Raven Crest knives I've, I've gotten um, have been all black. Uh, there's been a few rare exceptions, um, some tans, some greens, but this is another black on black on black. Um, looks like a different pocket clip. Yeah, that is not the standard Ravencrest pocket clip. Um, if you watched last month's, uh, that was a fixed blade. That was a super weird knife. I hated it. I actually sold that knife, got my money back, so happy to pass that on to somebody else that actually wanted it because that person is not me. This one's kind of weighty. Um, you know, it feels uh, overly heavy for the size. Um, those are gonna be stainless steel liners. Um, I believe that's a, an aluminum backspacer with a uh, glass breaker on the end. Um, it does look like G10 handle scales on there. Um, it is Pretty grippy, um, got a nice texture to it. Not overly grippy, but uh, not uncomfortable. Um, pretty plain Jane, but you know, we do have a reversible pocket clip. Um, you know, it would be deep carry if they put it at the end of the knife. I don't know why Ravencrest does that. They, they put a, a deep carry pocket clip, but they put it in a position that makes it not deep carry. So why would you do that? I, I don't understand. But uh, at any rate, that's, that's what we got. It does have a, a lanyard hole there. And, uh, you know, fit and finish is okay. Let's look at the centering. Centering looks good. No problems there. Uh, it is a flipper, no thumb stud. Even though there is like a relief cut there, as if there would be a... a Thumb stud, that's kind of weird. And it's only on the one side. Interesting. Yeah, not on that side. Present on that side. Huh. I have no idea why that's there. Anyways, let's go ahead and flip it. Oop. It does uh, does feel nice and smooth. Let's try that again. Yeah. Feels like it's on bearings. Uh, let's see if we can see in there. Um, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it looks like, sorry, <laughs> uh, it looks like there's bearings in there. It's probably hard to see on the camera. Um, there's a liner lock, and it's making good lockup, good early lockup. That's what we like to see, and kind of like a, a Warncliffe style tip on that. Maybe even, yeah, it's a Warncliffe. And uh, we do have a recurve back here, and then a nice straight flat here for some uh, nice slicing. Um, got some speed holes on this guy. <laughs> Just kind of funny. Oh, and it does say 440C, and there's lots of lots of oil on that pivot. Lots of oil. So no need to loop this up when you get it. It's ready to rock and roll. Um, man, look at all that oil. <whistles> yep. But that's good. I, I'd rather it be oiled and smooth rather than not oiled and not smooth. But um, it's got a, um, 
a hollow grind here on that. Um, very interesting blade shape. Um, I'm kind of digging it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to make this recurve is going to make it a little more challenging to, to sharpen, but boy, it is sharp. I can tell that right now. And you know what? I'm an idiot. I forgot to bring paper out here. So let's, um, let's see if it cuts. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just annihilates the package. Um, super duper duper sharp. This might be one of the sharpest knives I've received from Ravencrest. I mean, you can feel that. That is just razor, razor sharp. And I mean, it's just like this is bubble wrap and paper and it just slices through like, you know, it's not even there. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that is awesome. I love this. So, other than the pocket clip being in a stupid spot and the rather plain Jane um, handle scales there and the, the kind of heft to it, I like it. For 10 bucks, um, yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty good deal. I like this knife. Um, it has, that's more of like a sharpening choil. I mean, that's, you're not gonna be able to choke up on that without cutting yourself on that edge. So uh, I guess, <laughs> I guess that relief cut is for your finger there, but you'd think it'd be both sides, but whatever. There's a little bit of jimping up here on the spine and uh, yeah, that's nice and functional. So yeah, pretty cool. I guess you can do some detail work like that. Pretty nice. Yeah, overall, this is way better than last month's offering. Um, yeah, I dig it. Cool. I, I can use this knife. This one, this one will work for me. Well, there we go. Let me screen it up. There we go. Nice smooth opening. Real sharp blade. Interesting blade shape. Not crazy about the, the holes, but you know, whatever. It'll work. So cool. All right, let me know what you guys think about this one. Thanks for watching and uh, getting close to 650 subscribers. Probably do a, a giveaway soon. Why not? We haven't done one in a long time. So, anyway, stay tuned for that. We'll do a we'll do a giveaway. Thanks for watching, guys.